unstoppable take a shot chase the sun find the beautiful hi guys how are you all doing i hope you guys are doing very very well i am also doing fine i thank god for everything you guys in today's video we'll be talking about money you guys have only four days four days can you please count my fingers one two three four four days to go this is for those people who had applied for the 2023 green card lottery you have four days to go until you receive your confirmation message saying that congratulations you have won the 2023 dv lottery and now you can begin the process of submitting your documents the relevant documents that are needed and schedule your interview date you guys are not ready in case you have not been praying you better start now because you are not ready you have been waiting for the longest time you know <laughs> you have been waiting for the longest time and the day is almost here you better start praying now but don't worry do not worry even if you're not selected right now there's always a next time keep on trying because sometimes you'll not always be lucky some people they win uh within their first trial and others they may go until sixth trial as long as you're doing the right thing do not worry just leave the rest to god okay there's always a next time so there is the 2024 uh entry which will open on october of this year 2022 so in case you're looking forward to apply and maybe you need information i have a video of the same in my previous video you can always go and check i have provided all the information that you need to know about the whole process of applying for the dv lottery so in today's video we'll be talking about money day, day, day. this is always an interesting topic especially for content creators if you are one of the, if you are one of them you know what i'm talking about guys pardon me just in case I am talking very fast, especially when I'm in front of the camera. I tend to, sometimes I tend to slap and I tend to speak very fast, but I am going to try my best and reduce my speed, but bear with me, okay? So back to the topic we are going to talk about money you guys have been asking me to give you a rough estimate of how much money one should have to cater for all the expenses in the process of you relocating from your country of origin to the united states my friend you must be well prepared financially because it is not cheap but again it is not it's very expensive but it is not cheap yeah of course applying for the dv lottery is very free and you should never pay for those who have not uh, applied you should never pay and the process is very swift as long as you know how to read and you know how to use a computer then i don't think you, you will need anyone to do that for you it is something that you can do it by yourself so applying for the dv lottery is very free but in the in some levels it is not some of you guys think that the government is going to cater for some expenses but the answer is no the government is not going to cater for any expense each and everything that requires money you are the one who is going to pay for that the government is not anywhere involved apart from them conducting an interview and giving you that visa that's all each and everything else is on you from the visa fee the medical fee the transport fee and where you are going to stay that is all up to you so in today's video i'm going to give you a breakdown of how much you should have for you to achieve this whole thing i do not want to scare you but this is the reality and you guys i am somehow disappointed in you because you come and ask me these questions in my dm instead of you guys asking them in the comment section why is the comment section there the comment section is there for you guys to ask me these questions interact with me let us interact interact with my videos okay you guys you like my videos right you always give it a thumbs up and even if 
uh, even if you give it a thumbs up also try as much as possible to leave a comment you know it shows some love and support and also youtube will recommend that video to many other people who want to hear such information right you benefit i also benefit <laughs> so if you're liking this video so far please give it a thumbs up and also comment give me a comment tell me what you think about this video so back to the topic i'm going to give you a breakdown of how much you should have at least for you to achieve this thing smoothly the first expense is the the medical fee because before you go into the interview you must have conducted a medical checkup the consular officers will recommend um will recommend a hospital for you and that's where you go you and your family to conduct the medical checkup so right now i'm going to talk this i'm going to talk about a single person in this video then you can always do your maths if it is children i think it's the half the price and if it's an adult it is times two so i'm going to talk about a single person so the medical fee will range from around 300 dollars on the lower end to 450 dollars it depends sometimes but the lower it can get is around 300 dollars that's around 30,000 depending on the rate on the dollar rate so that is medical fee you must have at least 33,000 onwards another fee is the visa fee the visa fee is standard it doesn't matter uh, which country you are coming from it doesn't matter the visa fee is standard which is 330 US dollars that is standard and you will pay it at the consular office or at the US embassy in your country another fee is the transport fee okay in this transport fee let us talk about the airspace it will depend uh, with the number of family how large your family is but if you are a single person it will depend on uh, the airline that you're going to use and the season that you uh, you will be traveling of course if you travel during a high season the fares the fare will have height they'll be very much expensive than compared to when you're traveling on low seasons also as i have said depending on the airline some some airlines are very expensive and some airlines are pretty much affordable you're going to the same destination okay depends with the services that you get but yeah depending on the airline and depending on the season that you'll be traveling um, in another expense is after you have arrived in the united states at the point at the at the point of entry at the airport you'll be asked to pay for the green card the green card the green card itself because when you are leaving your country of origin you are only given the visa but now after you have arrived in the united states you will have to pay a standard fee of 220 that is for applying for the green card and now after after it is ready they will deliver it to your address another minor expenses are like when you are when you're commuting from your home to the embassy from your home to the airport from your home to the hospital those are minor expenses and another minor expense is when you are taking the this the us standard us uh the us standard passport because you're not going to the passport that they want is not the normal passports they have they have the us standard passports so when you're going to take those passports be very careful okay that's that's a hint for you another expense is depending on how you have agreed with your host your host may ask you to at least pay uh, a few of their bills or some hosts some hosts will ask you to 
live with them for free so that will depend on that will depend on how you have agreed with your host i know some hosts will ask you to at least pay for gas pay for water bills or pay for electricity bills it depends on how you have agreed but it is always good to have extra cash to cater for those expenses while you're here but it also depends on how you have agreed with your host what i would say is at least have a rough roughly amount of not less than 300,000 kenyan shillings okay because for you to be on the safe side for you to have less struggles have at least 300,000 kenyan shillings but if your host will ask you to pay for some bills then have at least 500 kenyan shillings that will cater for your <clears throat> transport the visa fee the medical fee yani each and everything if so far you're liking this video give it a thumbs up for those who are new here my name is terry do not forget to subscribe to this youtube channel in case you haven't already and if you are a new subscriber thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos liking my videos sharing my videos i really really appreciate your support yeah that's all until next time bye bye i believe it oh, all the past is everything we were to make us who we are